We're currently on the roof of the physics building on this glorious spring day and we're joined by the um, Physics Society students on their launch of their first space mission. So you join us with TJ, the deputy of Physics Hawk, right? Yeah, that's right. And we're going to talk about the helium balloon which is just about to be launched. So first, um, why has the project been set up? Why is it started? Uh, basically, we're the Physics Society and we just wanted to do something that was really cool, really physics-y mm. um, and have uh, like a lot of people involved in something that could really promote and the society and the department because mm. it's a great department here at Nottingham. Um, so the idea sort of came to us in October. We got approached by uh, Oscar, who's our balloon technician who mm. is around. Um, he's working on the balloon right now um, and uh, yeah he basically came and said to us like I've done rocket launches before at Imperial I've done a, a balloon launch before do you guys want to do it and we said yeah that sounds like a really good idea something we'd be really interested in and let's do it really what's what's the, the balloon filled of and what's attached to it so, so the payload in the balloons are fairly light about less than 500 grams yeah uh, inside that we've got um, a one HD camera which is taking photos uh, and two uh, standard definition cameras uh, which are taking a video one's pointed uh, directly down so you should get a video as it goes away from earth um, and one's pointed at 90 degrees and the other um, HD camera is pointed at 90 degrees and that's taking some should get some nice HD photos with the curvature of the earth how high is it gonna get though so it should get to about 28 kilometers um, to give you an idea of how high that is that's like about a third of the way up out to sort of what you'd really define as space, space yeah. um, but it's high enough so that it will get um, some real, really good photos of curvature of the Earth in it. Ooh. So it'd be really cool, and it should look good. So, but yeah, the first space mission that's going to be really yeah. cool for physics. Um, so, where? Because you're going to have to find it after it's crashed to get all these pictures back. So, where, where do you think it's going to so end up? It should land in around Bicester, uh, just uh, Oxfordshire. Yeah. Uh, so Oxford area. Um, it's got a GPS tracker in the in the balloon, mm. um, which can, which basically the balloon sends uh, radio data back to us with it. Uh, GPS position, its height. And we're just basically going to follow the balloon in the chase car, um, and then put uh, the GPS coordinates come in, put it into Google Maps, and then drive to that location. And that's how we'll find the stuff. Yeah. The launch is going to happen any minute now, and we're quite excited. I'm just worried, as this is the gun capital of Britain, that people start make, um, start making pot shots. But um, we can't. We're going to hopefully miss out for that. Oh, a few weeks past it, that's good. <laughs> there you have it, an incredibly successful launch. And if you want to find out more information and also see the, some pictures from the um, balloon itself and Physics Ox Chase to get it back, then click on the link below.